Taking fantastic one-on-one -on -one meeting notes is probably the easiest and most important thing you can do to really improve the quality of the meetings that you're having. It's really frustrating when you are someone on a team and you have one-on-one -on -one with your manager and you feel like they didn't remember what you talked about last time. Uh, they're not really sure what's going on with you. Kind of just gives you this feeling that um, your manager doesn't really care about you. And if you're a manager yourself, uh, it can be quite draining to try and figure out off the top of your head what was discussed last time, especially when you're managing multiple people. So I'm going to show you this method that Reflect is fantastic for. And it's largely covered in one of Alex's first videos he did for Reflect on how to use it as a personal CRM. And it's basically the same concept, but I'm going to kind of narrow it down specifically for one-on-ones. And here on the side here, I've added a fake one-on-one -on -one meeting that I'm going to use for this. Um, you don't have to have your calendar integrated through this, and you can use this method uh, with any note-taking app. It doesn't have to be Reflect, but if you do want this integration, uh, you can connect your calendar so that um, we can click on this for the meeting invite I have and this nice uh, little box popped up. And so here we have the attendees. I'm going to remove myself just because I know I'm on any meeting that I have here. I'm going to leave Barbara. And I'm going to have a create a background note. And you don't always have to do this. That's why it's an optional checkbox. But I do recommend having a background note for every single one on one you do. So I'm going to add this note here. And now what we have is a log with the time in our day of when the one on one is happening. And because this is a recurring one on one, this meeting note here is already populated. But if it's the first time you're ever putting this in your notes, this, of course, won't be populated. So um, if I click into this here, there's some things that I like to add each time. So there's the type, which is a meeting. That's a tag. Uh, the people, it's just a one-on-one. -on -one. So I just put Barbara in here. But if it's a team meeting, I would put others from my team. I put the company or project because I work on several. And the purpose of the one-on-one -on -one meetings or whatever the recurring meetings is. And I guess that's a good point to or a good time to point out, this is really more of a recurring meeting model than specifically one-on-one. -on -one. That's great for any kind of recurring meeting. And then down here, I have the top goals we're working on. I think that's really important. And if you want to be super structured, I don't know, you could put something like an agenda in where you first do a personal catch-up and then you do um, discuss, uh, whoops, uh, progress on goals and review top priority. Um, and, you know, you can, again, put whatever in there you change. But the idea is that everything you put into the backlink to note itself is evergreen information. So these top goals and the weekly agenda, I'm going to put weekly because that's whoops, meant to be recurring and not just for this meeting. Um, this information's theoretically never going to change or it should change very, very rarely. Like the goals probably shouldn't change for like a year or something if you're doing annual goals. Okay, but now let's actually talk about the meeting notes, because here you see there is a bullet underneath this line item. And we're going to take any of the actual notes for each individual meeting under that line. So what I like to do is open this in a split tab so I can see the legacy information. I can see the agenda. Um, and then there's a couple ways that you can take notes here. So if you're using Reflect, they have a uh, voice note integration that you can actually just record the meeting if you want. Now, it doesn't currently split um, the voices up, so it will just record everything. But it's great if you just want to not have to worry about taking any notes and it will transcribe the whole thing for you and then you can run the AI assistant on it. Um, you could also just do kind of the old fashioned way where uh, you just write notes in the bullet here. So uh, you do like write the first thing that happened and then the second thing, so on and so forth. Um, or you can do what I kind of like to do, which is a hybrid method of the two, where, uh, you know, you write down the highlights as you go. And then at the end of the meeting, I'll record a little voice note while everything's fresh in my head about what happened and, you know, the important action items coming in. And we even have a nice custom prompt um, that I got from a Reflect user. Whoops, wrong shortcut. Um, that is called the Executive Assistant. Um, oh, it's my demo brain, so I don't have it in this one. Um, I'll go try and copy it into the description, but basically it takes, uh, you select the notes from your audio note in the bullet points, and then you have it turn it into uh, a list of action items, key takeaways from the meeting, etc. 
Um, so that's kind of the method that I like to do. I am for this video, I'm going to kind of cheat and just paste in my notes here. Um, cause I don't want you guys to have to just watch me for like a whole audio note for the meeting or the matter or whatnot. Okay, so here you've noticed that I've put in some pretty basic meeting notes here. Um, I didn't even backlink them yet. So if I wanted to, I could select all of these and run the AI uh, prompt to automatically add backlinks on it. And it will link like the names and the uh, client companies and I won't even have to do that. Um, but this is pretty much it. These are the actual meeting notes, meeting to meeting. And then, you know, if I'm doing other things in my day, which I probably am, I can go ahead and collapse that so it stays nice and clean. And the magic part about this is that next time, so obviously we wouldn't have a one-on-one -on -one the next day, but let's say um, we, you know, I'll just for this example, say that we had another one the next day. So I'll add in the one-on-one -on -one meeting note. And then here I can actually see in the incoming backlink section exactly what was discussed last time. And I do recommend formatting it. Like I like to put mine into key takeaways and action items. So then I can quickly look before meetings and say, did I do my action items and all of that good stuff? Um, but you can just see how everything keeps nice and organized. You can just do the one-on-one -on -one conversation themselves, and you really don't have to worry about much. Uh, if you want to, you can copy the notes and send it as a follow-up to the people on your team. Um, if you're, you know, the person having a one-on-one -on -one with your manager, that's a great way to kind of impress them with how organized you are. So whether you're the person that's actually uh, leading the one-on-one -on -one or recurring meetings, or whether you're just a participant, this is a fantastic way to make sure that you're taking the best notes possible with honestly the least amount of effort.